Weston caught a fillet. Holy Jim, smokes, dude. It? Biggest crack. No. What's up, YouTube? Oh! Coming to you live from, from the Tribute in the Colony, I guess. All these dogs are barking. It's funny. They got police going by. Check this out. Yeah, Bass Forecast app says they're gonna be biting today and Fish Brain says this is a good location and check this out right here. Look at all these trees right here along the edge. Christian and Bryce are both showing up here in a minute, but uh, I'm gonna go ahead and pre-game a little bit, see if we can uh, get the good luck streak going. I got a few more things with me, but what I'm starting off with is uh, just a Texas rig, just to cast on the bottom. I'm gonna start with this chatterbait, uh, which I think is gonna be good. It's nice and breezy, so they should be hitting on that along with something like if y'all wanted to try a crankbait or a spinnerbait on a day like today where it's you know real windy, the wind is blowing right to us. I have a feeling that this edge right here is gonna be real good because of that. Pushes up all the little bait fish, all the food for the bass right into this corner. I think we're gonna have good luck right here. And uh, I'm fortunate because what I've got tied on is black and blue. Uh, yeah, black and blue is good for the stained water. There's not very good visibility, so you might throw something like this in that case. And I'm going to crank the brakes up on this new reel. It's only my second time out with it, but since it's windy, I want to have it on close to max braking since I'm going to be casting into the wind. Yeah, this could be real good. What you got tied on? Uh, okay, cool. I think uh, I've been throwing black and blue for a minute. I bet you something lighter like that, that trailer is going to work good because yeah. I kind of walked a little bit down here. There's not too many opportunities to cast. Well, I'm going to keep going. I'm just going to keep going with the chatterbait. Yeah, I'm going to walk this whole thing right here, I guess. All right, I'm, I'm, I'm doing the shad crankbait. I have a shad looking swim bait too. Damn, I don't know what to throw. I'm going to get the crankbait. Going with the Smith & Wesson Classic. Oh, yep, never fails. Got him! Hey, yo, this ain't a bass! Dude, it's huge! I can't because I need your pliers! He's huge! <laughs> On the crankbait. Check that thing out. It's first one of the day. Big old crappie. White crappie, huh? Big white crappie. Holy smokes, he hit the crankbait. We're just throwing the sexy shad over here. The old classic. Tried and true. And uh, this thing right here, I never caught one that big. <laughs> Let's let him go. Oh, he's off. Oh, oh. oh. there he goes. <laughs> oh, I got you. All right, get in there. I sent an email in to try and get on, well, I submitted an application to get on Wu Tungsten's team. Yeah, that crappie was like freaking state record. <laughs> you wanna drive down and try one of the smaller ones on the golf course? All right, y'all, we decided to head out of that first spot right at 423 in Lebanon and cruise southwest down Lebanon a little further and we arrived at this spot right here saw a recent catch on fish brain a big bass out of this pond right up here by the fountain most recent catch and this is kind of like a little channel in this neighborhood so we're gonna cast a line out here for a minute see what happens i haven't thrown this guy in a while i think it's time to break him back out live target swim bait he ain't gonna mess around yo birthday boy with the first fish for him of the day over there All right, Christian had to take off, and uh, Bryce and I are still out here. I'm gonna try a couple things because I haven't been getting many bites, so. 
tied on that peanut butter and jelly jig with the crack and craw trailer. Here, fishy, fishy, fishy. Oh. Dude, I don't know. I think I do. I'm like, hell, he took it. Hell yeah. <sighs> on the jig, PB&J. First one ever on this PB&J jig. So ladies and gents, they're hitting on the uh, jigs today with the crack and crawl trailer. And I had a feeling it would be good in this spot too. It's all that clay stuff you usually see those crawfish hanging out in. It's a tiny one. I figured maybe it was a little bit bigger, but hey, let's get the release on this little guy and get something a little bigger. Yeah, I just saw the line swimming to the left. I said, okay, it's going upstream. <laughs> You know how they say jigs catch you the big ones in the fall, right? It's been a little slow lately, but uh, we've been fishing for a while. I'm gonna keep at it for a minute. It seems like this channel of ponds keeps on going forever through this neighborhood, so. Uh, see what they won't get hit on next. <laughs> 